We have 8,000 rose bushes in this garden. And uh, every year in January and February, we invite the public, uh, ro um, garden clubs, and uh, any other organization to come in and help us prune. We get Boy Scouts, and we get Boys and Girls Clubs, and we get uh, some of the church youth activity groups that come in every year and help us prune. We couldn't get it done if we didn't have the public to come help us. We always start off our sessions at 9 o'clock with a consulting rosarian who is a very well-trained ro rosarian who will show the proper way of pruning the roses. So that's what we're into now. Oh, Arizona is absolutely ideal for roses because most of the roses, well, I should say 60% of the roses sold in the United States are grown in the West Valley. We have between 70 and 100 people that come every time, and many of them are repeaters. They come, they enjoy it so much, they come back and help us some more. So after after they learn how to properly prune a rose, we invite them to stay and prune roses with us, and then we give them free raffle tickets for a wonderful raffle that we hold after the pruning sessions are finished, and we give away loppers and clippers, wonderful garden tools, uh, in our, this free raffle uh, when we have our big get-together in March. We have big garden party in which we have food for all the volunteers and we have a big time together. We celebrate. We have finished pruning the rose garden and with 8,000 rose bushes, that's an accomplishment, I'll tell you.